Let's make a face part five. Multiple files with ES6 modules. We're gonna make our face composed in index.js from multiple files, backgroundcircle.js, eyes.js, and mouth.js, which we'll import from D3Arc. We'll discuss refactoring React components, as in splitting up big components into smaller components using many files with ES6 modules, named exports versus default exports, using React fragments, and composing the face from components, background circle, eyes, and mouth. I would like to put this into a separate module, into a separate file, but the one thing that's holding me back is that it refers to stroke width, which is defined in this module somewhere. So let me also make this a prop. We can do that by just adding another element here in our list of variables that are getting destructured from the props. And then down here, we can pass in stroke width equals, in curly braces, stroke width. So this stroke width is defining the prop, and this stroke width is accessing the variable that has that value. I'll just reformat it. All right, now we're in a position to move this component into a separate module. Next, I'm going to create a new file. I'll call it backgroundcircle.js. I like to have the file name the same as the component name. And now I can just cut this code out of here and paste it into this file. Now we can use ES6 modules. So here we're defining a module and I want to export this. So to do that, we can say export const background circle and that gives us a named export from this module. And then over in index.js, we can import it like this. Import background circle in curly braces because it's a named export from dot slash background circle. By the way, sometimes you might see this syntax with no curly braces. And this works if you use what's called a default export. You can do that like this. Export default, this function, and now it works. But I personally prefer named exports, and I think it's sort of best practice to use mainly named exports, because I find this confusing, because you can't correlate the import name to anything in here. And you could rearrange the code like this to say const background circle equals this, and then say export default background circle like this. But then with, with the default export, these names could become out of sync. You could use any name here and it wouldn't matter. So that's why I like to use named exports like this. Export const background circle, and then when we import it, we put it in curly braces. All right, we've successfully taken full advantage of React components and ES6 modules for this one thing, background circle. Let's do the same kind of refactoring for the other parts of our code. These two circles here are the eyes. So I think I'll make a new component called eyes. Const eyes equals a function that returns some JSX, and I'm just gonna paste that JSX into here. Now we're getting an interesting syntax error. It says adjacent JSX elements must be wrapped in an enclosing tag. This is one of the gotchas with JSX, and what it means is that you can't return two elements like this from one component. They need to be wrapped in something. Typically, you could wrap it in a div, but that results in extra DOM elements, and now we're inside SVG, so a div doesn't really fit. It wouldn't work. The equivalent to a div in SVG is a group element, so we could do it like this, where we have a begin group and an end group, and these circles go inside of this group element. This does work, but there is a cleaner way to do this that doesn't require creating any new DOM elements, and that is to use React fragments. And you can use a React fragment like this by creating these weird looking sort of empty 
JSX elements, these create React fragments. This solution satisfies the need to return a single thing from a React component, but it's also cleaner than introducing group elements because those group elements don't really need to be there. So that's how you can solve that error if you ever see it in the future. We can't move this to a separate module yet because we're referring to these variables that exist outside of the component. We can fix that by introducing these as props. So we've got I offset X, I offset Y, and I radius. Our component accepts these props, but our outer component is not passing these in. So let's make that happen. I offset X equals I offset X, I offset Y equals Y offset Y, and I radius equals I radius. All right, now we can move this into a separate module. I'll make a new file called eyes.js, and I'll cut this code out of here, paste it into eyes.js, add the export keyword, and then over in index.js, import eyes from dot slash eyes. You could put .js here, but you don't need to. All right, I think the last remaining thing is the mouth. I'm going to make this a component as well. I'll call it mouth and then introduce mouth as a component that returns, and here I'll paste that JSX. And we're referring to mouth arc, and what we could do is pass that in as a prop, but I don't really want to go that route because I think it's asking too much of the parent component, too much understanding of the internals. All the parent component really needs to know is the mouth radius and mouth width. So instead of making the app component come up with this D3 arc generator, which I think is too detailed, instead I'm going to make mouth radius and mouth width props. Now we can make this component responsible for coming up with this arc. And so to do that, I'm going to move away from these parentheses and instead use curly braces. That way we can include many expressions in the body of this function, including the expression that generates this arc generator. And previously, this was being implicitly returned, but now we need to explicitly say return right here. And I could put parentheses around this, but it's not strictly required, so I'm not going to do it because this fits comfortably on a single line. Now all we need to do is pass in these props. So let's make that happen. Down in our app, we set mouth radius and mouth width. All right, now we can move mouth into a separate module, separate file. I'll cut this code out of there, make a new file called mouth.js, and then in this file, I'll paste that code, add the export keyword, and then import it in index.js. Import mouth from dot slash mouth. This does not seem to be working, and we're not getting any syntax errors. See, in VizHub, syntax errors show up here, but runtime errors do not. For runtime errors, we need to open the console. Reference error, arc is not defined. And that makes perfect sense because we're importing arc from D3 inside of index.js, but we don't actually need that in index.js. So I'm going to remove that import from here and then add it to mouth.js. And now everything works again. We import arc, we use it here. All right, so far so good. We have refactored these components so that we have background circle, eyes, and mouth. And I find this to be much more readable than what we had before. We have semantic meaning in these names themselves. That's all for Let's Make a Face Part 5, Multiple Files with ES6 Modules.